Welcome to Selection Sunday here at Keystone and more. Nick and I are just about to fill out the brackets right in front of you guys, tell you guys who is going to win this all in this very special 2019 March Madness. Last year we had a lot of big upsets with UNBC taking down Virginia and uh, Loyola Chicago almost going to the finals. So Nick, let's go right into it because we have a lot of stuff to cover. Let's start in the East. We'll start with Duke uh, against NCCU or NDSU. Yeah, so I think that's pretty obvious. I think Duke's either is obviously going to be either North Carolina Central or North Dakota State pretty handily. Uh, they should win either of these games pretty mm-hmm. handily. I don't really feel like I need to see much more. Yeah, that's probably the same with me. That's who I picked. Uh, next in the game, the 8 seed versus the 9 seed. We have uh, Virginia Commonwealth and U- at UCF, so University of S- uh, Central Florida. Who do you have? I went with UCF. Uh, but this is actually probably the toughest game, uh, maybe one of the toughest games on the bracket. I've seen both these teams play, one of them in person, the other one a lot on TV. And these teams are both very good, and they both are very well deserving of these seeds. But I think UCF is going to win this game. I do. I, that's, why, that's why I picked. I did pick UCF to win it. Uh, obviously, these 8-9 matchups are anyone's game. Uh, so so I, that's, that's who I personally pick. Uh, next, we have number five, Mississippi State versus number 12, Liberty. Nick, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go with Mississippi State on this one. I'm also going to go with Mississippi State. Um, again, another tough game to go with here. Liberty is a very defensive team, only allowing 60 points a game, and they put up around 75 a game. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Mississippi State went 10-8 and eight in their conference. Liberty went 14-2 and two in their conference. But more importantly, Liberty went 1-0 and versus the top 50. Mississippi State went 5-6. and six. But I still like Mississippi State in this one, as I do believe they'll be Liberty. Yeah, Gui. Next, we have four Vatek versus number 13, St. Louis. I don't think there's any uh, talk for me. I like how Vatek's played a little bit shaky towards the end of the year, but they've still played strong to get the fourth seed. Uh, I'm going to go with Vatek here. I'm also going to go with Vatek. Um, it wasn't the easiest pick because... Um, St. Louis has been very hot recently in their conference tournament, the A-10. Um, and having both the A-10 teams in the same bracket is a little weird, but hey, that's what they decided to do. It doesn't matter. I think Virginia Tech will win that game. Now we have number 6 versus Maryland versus number 11 seed Belmont or Temple. Yeah, I'm going to go with Maryland. Uh, I believe Belmont should beat Temple mm-hmm. um, on Tuesday night. And I'm going to go with Maryland beating Belmont. Now we have... Uh, number three, uh, LSU versus number 14, Yale. This is going to be interesting because Yale's always done well in the first rounds against better teams than them. So this is going to be a tough game. Who do you have? I'm going with LSU um, because LSU LSU is 7-1 and one versus the top 50 this year. LSU is a probably top 10 team in the country, and Yale is 0-4 versus the top 50 this year. So I don't like how that adds up. For Yale, uh, so I'm going to go with LSU in this one. Definitely, I mean Yale's always had a strong program uh, going into the postseason, but like you said, yeah, they're 0 4, and they've had a very shaky season towards the end of the year, um, losing to teams that they probably should have won, games they should have won. So, and I like LSU; that they're in a tough, uh, tough division with uh, Kentucky, Auburn, and uh, and Tennessee. So they're probably going to be well matched for Yale for whatever. So I'm going to have Yale winning this game. Next, we have Louisville versus Minnesota, 7-10 game. I know it's 7-10, but again, I think this could go either way. I'm personally going to go with Louisville. Okay, I'm actually going to go the opposite way. I'm going to go with uh, Minnesota in this one. Um, I like Minnesota in this game, uh, personally. I could also see why you go with Louisville, but if you just look at basic records here, mm-hmm. Louisville is 3-11 and versus these better teams, top 30, 50, sorry, top 50, 3-11. and Minnesota is... Five and seven again. Neither of them are very good, but I like Minnesota in this one. Yeah, that's good. Good point. Now we have number two, Michigan State versus number fifteen, Bradley. I don't. I this is quite be obvious. Michigan State's been very, very well uh, the past couple of weeks, and they've earned a two seed, rightfully so. Uh, I'm gonna have them winning. Yeah, I'm also gonna go with Michigan State. And Michigan State kind of got screwed here getting put in the east with duke i mean honestly michigan state might be the best two seed why wouldn't you put them in the west or the midwest with your three and fourth overall um one seed i just i don't personally understand it but hey they did what they had to do i think that was probably the worst seeding uh today 
Yeah. I'm going to go with um, Michigan State. Yeah, they're very unpredictable always. Um, but, yeah, Michigan State's obviously the better team. One of the – probably arguably, yeah. Because you have Michigan as number two. You have uh, Tennessee and you have Kentucky. So, I personally think it's the strongest team, like you said. Then go, now we're going to move on to the western side of the uh, board. Like uh, we probably have predicted for the longest time, because Zagreb's been very strong. They used to be the number one uh, seed in the country. Uh, they've dropped off. Uh, so because Zagreb's going to take number one uh, against FDU or PVANM, but I don't think it matters who wins that, that game. I think Gonzaga's going to win. They've yep, been strong. I think, I think that's obvious, yeah. Uh, it's number now the next one number eight Syracuse number nine Baylor. I'm gonna go Syracuse. Uh, I'm gonna go Syracuse here. It was a very unfortunate game. If you're a Baylor fan, it was a very unfortunate game. You should have won against Iowa State, but I, Iowa State just turned up the heat in the Big Twelve tournament like they always do. I'm gonna go Syracuse. I am personally gonna go with Baylor. Um, I don't I don't really understand how Syracuse is even in the NCAA tournament. If I'm being completely honest with you, uh, Syracuse went twenty and thirteen this year. But they really didn't beat anybody that – or they beat Duke. But besides Duke, they don't have the greatest resume. 2-9 and nine versus the top 50. Baylor is 7-5. So I just like Baylor in this one. Yeah. It's, I mean, yeah, anyone, anyone's game. But, yeah, Baylor is also pretty strong. We have number now number 5, Marquette, versus number 12, Murray State. Uh, I don't know about you. I'm going Marquette. I'm going Murray State on this one. I feel like it's – Murray State has the best player in the country, in my opinion, in, in Ja Morant. This kid averages like 35 a game. And Marquette is one of the coldest teams in the country at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, they couldn't beat Seton Hall or Georgetown to finish off their season, the regular season. And then they went into the tournament and they uh, they beat, I forget who they beat, um, they beat um, St. John's. But then they lost to Seton Hall in the semifinals. So mm -hmm. this really is not a very hot team at the moment. Murray State is a very good team. I'm going with Murray State. I think the reasons the reasons that you pointed are the reasons why Marquette's going to win. They've lost the last couple of games, and they're probably going to think, yeah, we need to get something going, especially if you want to play a very good team like Murray State. Um, so I think they're going to put something together. Next, we have Florida State versus Vermont at my also my house uh, in Hartford. Uh, I'm going to go Florida State with this one. They had a very rough ending in the ACC tournament with a loss against Duke, but that's probably what you expected with a healthy Zion Williams. Uh, with Zion Williamson, so I'm going to go Florida State in this one. I'm also going to go with Florida State in this one. The Vermont is, I thought this is like a cakewalk for Florida. So. Then we have number six, Buffalo versus number 11, ASU or St. John's. I honestly think it depends on who wins the St. John's game. Uh, yeah, would you like to get more specific into that? Because I feel like if St. John wins against ASU, Arizona State, I think St. John might be able to beat Buffalo. I definitely disagree on that. Buffalo is much better than St. John's. St. John's, in my opinion, should not be in this tournament even. Uh, St. John's has not proven to me at one time this year that they deserve to be in the March Madness tournament. Oh, no. They, not, they've played terrible. Their non-conference tournament was a cakewalk. Their non-conference, sorry, their non-conference play was a, was a complete cakewalk. They didn't do anything in the Big East. And Buffalo is a very superior team. Buffalo is, could possibly make the Elite Eight, possibly. I definitely like Buffalo in this one. I just think... St. John's is going to be that one bad team that upset like UNBC, that one team that upset Virginia. There's always going to be that one team, and I think it's going to be St. John's this year. Uh, Texas Tech, number three, versus number 14, Northern Kentucky. Texas Tech had a rough upset uh, against West Virginia in the Big 12 tournament, yet they've still played very well. Um, I'm going to go with Texas Tech on this one. I'm also going to go with Texas Tech on this one. Um, I think Texas Tech, they kind of just, you know, they, got, they should have been a lot better in the Big 12 tournament. They got bounced out. Um, but, you know, Texas Tech's a very good team. Probably one of the strongest teams in uh, the country. So I like Texas Tech. Yeah. Uh, then we have number seven, Nevada versus number 10, Florida. I'm probably going to go with Nevada in this one. I'm also going to go with Nevada in this one. Florida, again, just barely sneaking in this tournament. Uh, but you know what? Florida just hasn't been turning up against these good teams. One in 12 against the top 50. Uh, Nevada three and zero versus the top fifty. I like Nevada. They're also Nevada's also twenty nine and four. So makes me feel they've been well. yeah, and they've been very <laughs> strong in the past couple of years in the tournament. Uh, and then we have to finish it off. We have number two Michigan versus number fifteen Montana. I'm gonna go with Michigan on this one. Like Michigan State, they've been very very strong. Yeah, again, I don't see how uh, Michigan should lose to Montana. Michigan has had a very good end of the season. Lost to Michigan State today, barely lost though, lost by just uh, six points, I believe. So, yeah, I like Michigan this one. 
We're going to move on to the South with the number one seed, obviously, Virginia versus number 16, Gardner-Webb University. Last year, Virginia was the number one overall seed, lost to UMBC in the first round. I think that's going to be on their mind going into this game, which is the reason why I think Virginia is going to win this game. I think Virginia is going to win this game, too. Um, I, Gardner, Gardner was a five seed in their conference tournament. They, you know, got really lucky. They're very hot at the moment, but Virginia is Virginia. Yeah, we now we have next, we have number eight, Ole Miss versus number nine, Oklahoma. The Big 12 has been very strong uh, the past couple of years in the tournament. This year has been very slow. Oklahoma hasn't been very good this year. I, But also, Ole Miss has played in the SEC. I'm probably going to go Ole Miss on this one. I'm also going with Ole Miss. I honestly don't even know how Oklahoma got in this tournament. Me too. They didn't go 500. They didn't go 500 in their conference play, and uh, I, I like Ole Miss in this one. Now we have Wisconsin versus Oregon. Nick, who do you have? I'm going with Oregon. Oregon's hot right now. I did too. Oregon yeah. Is insanely hot. Uh, they just took down Washington last night. Again, the Pac-12 is a very weak conference this year, but Oregon has been hot at the moment. I like Oregon. Yeah, now we have number four, Kansas State, which is number 13, UC Irvine. I have Kansas State going in this one. They've been very strong. Uh, obviously, a rough loss against Iowa State um, a couple on, on Monday, I think it was. Wait, what, what's today? Oh, on fri- so, yeah, on Friday. My, I, I've got my days mixed up. I'm sorry. On Friday, a big loss there. Um, so, I have Kansas State going and winning this game. I'm going with the upset of UC Irvine over Kansas State. UC Irvine has had a very good year. They're 30 and 5 at the moment. They uh they're 2 and 1 versus the top 50. So UC Irvine's got a decent team only allowing 60 points a game, scoring 75 a game. Kansas State also only allowing 56 a game. It's going to be a very defensive oriented game. Uh, but I'm going with UC Irvine. We have Nova versus St. Mary's. I I'm assuming you're going to pick St. Mary's just because you hate Nova. I'm going to go with Nova in this one. They've been very shaky, but I think they're enough to defeat St. Mary's. Yeah, I mean, even if I don't like them, I still can't not pick them. Uh, they're the better team, in my opinion. And I'm going to go with Villanova. Yeah, I'm gonna go with We're going to have the Boilermakers in Purdue versus Old Dominion. Number three, Purdue, versus number 14, Old Dominion. I'm going to go with Purdue. They've been very strong, especially defensively. They've been great the past couple of years. They knocked off Iowa State last year in a very defensive game. Uh, frustrated Iowa State a lot. Uh, I'm going to go with Purdue. I'm going with Old Dominion. Old Dominion is one of those teams... They're very sneaky. They beat Syracuse earlier this year. Um, so, you know, Old Dominion is a very sneaky team. I'm um, going with Old Dominion over the Boilermakers. And we have Cincinnati Wildcats versus Iowa Hawkeyes here. Both teams, Iowa's been great for the past couple of years. They've dropped off a little bit this year. Cincinnati won the AAC. Uh, so that I think that's going to be the reason they're going on high, uh, high alert here. I'm going to go with Cincinnati in this one. I'm also going to go with Cincinnati. The game is in Columbus. So this is practically a home game uh, for the Bearcats, and I like them over the Hawkeyes. Now finishing off this West, we have Tennessee Lady Volunteers. This is a 15 Colgate. Tennessee's been very, not I'm not going to say very inconsistent, but they've been a bit inconsistent, especially coming to the end of the year. But I still think Tennessee's good enough to beat uh, the 15 Colgate. I also think Tennessee is much better than Colgate. Um, Kentucky just beat, or Tennessee, sorry, Tennessee just beat Kentucky. By the way, Flyers get the first goal in the Keystone Battle. But Tennessee, <sighs> much better than uh, Colgate. I don't even think it's close. Yeah, now going to the Midwest. Uh, I think that's the final. Yeah, the Midwest. We have North Carolina versus Iona. Nick, I don't know about you. I think North Carolina is arguably one of the best teams in this country right now. They beat Duke twice. They knocked off the Gonzaga. Two, that's two number one seeds right there. I don't know. What more you have to ask of them? They've had they have great pace. They play fast. Uh, it's hard for you to adjust. I know Duke did a very good job adjusting to them in the tournament. I have North Carolina winning this one easily against Iona. Yeah, I think this is pretty easy. Colby White becoming one of the best players in the country, probably a top five pick in this upcoming NBA draft. Um, and UNC has just again one of the hottest teams in the country at the moment. Really got screwed in having to face Duke in the semifinals. I think that's a complete joke. Mm-hmm. Duke UNC was a semifinal game and not a championship game. Definitely. Give UNC the first seed. Uh, the first game. First game. Now we have Washington, Utah State. Again, this could go either way. I'm just going to go Washington. Um, just, I, I, I feel like it can go either way. Again, agree. 50 50 game here. But uh, Washington should win this game. Washington was the best team in the Pac 12. Utah State, on the other hand, uh, you know, it was, it, they're a sneaky team. They beat Nevada, uh, they beat San Diego State in the conference final. But I like Washington. Washington is a very good team. 
Uh, now we have number five, Auburn versus number <laughs> 12, New Mexico State. I'm going to go with Auburn 26 to 9. They played very well, winning the SEC. Uh, uh, yeah, they beat the SEC, beating Tennessee twice, Kentu- lost Kentucky once. Uh, they did lose to Duke by six, but still, I think they're very good. I'm going to go with Auburn in this one. I'm also going to go with Auburn. Auburn is a very good team, in my opinion. And they are, you know, they won the SEC, which had Tennessee, Kentucky, and LSU, three top ten teams. And Auburn still wins that conference. I like Auburn. Now we have number four, Kansas University, number number 13, Northeastern. And I got in a few watching the Big 12 Championship. Kansas looked very slow. They couldn't get easy shots put up on, on uh, Iowa State. Uh, and Iowa State literally just threw them around, uh, and that could be problematic come against Northeastern. But I think Northeastern is not good enough to be a good team like Kansas. As they, as Kansas leads, um, they're led by Derek Lonson, who th- who's 19.1 points per game and ten, averages 10 rebounds per game. So, and they're both they're normally very good on both sides of the ball. Um, so I think the lack of experience could be a, a bit of an issue for Kansas, as we saw because they're both a young team, same with Iowa State. But I think they're still good enough to beat uh, to beat Northwestern. I also think Kansas is good enough to beat Northeastern. I don't know if they can Northeastern. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I don't know if they can go further than Northeastern, but I think they're good enough yeah. to beat Northeastern. Now we have number six Iowa State versus number eleven Ohio State. Nick, I'm I don't know what your thoughts of Iowa State winning the Big Twelve. It's the first time a five seed or lower has won the Big Twelve conference. This is the first, Iowa State's won now the uh, past four out of the past six. Big 12 Conference uh, Championships have been very strong. I don't know if you're watching, but Hilton, like I said last week, Hilton South was in full effect uh, in in uh, in uh, Kansas City. It was very almost all red. Uh, it was loud. I'm gonna go with Iowa State in this one. They've been they shaped up to have two, three very good wins against Baylor, uh, Kansas State, and Kansas. I'm gonna have them beating Ohio State in this one. I'm also gonna go with Iowa State in this one. Iowa State kind of got screwed up and play Ohio State even as a six seed. But uh, I like Iowa State. Uh, very good fan base. Uh, very good team, obviously, winning a very tough Big 12. It's, all, it's probably arguably one of the best fan bases. Well, I'm, I'm not going to say it's the best, but it's, you could argue that it is because they travel 300 miles away. We used to, when we saw Kansas State, that's only like 45 minutes away. No one really showed up. Uh, but, yeah, I like Iowa State in this one. Now we have Houston and Georgia State. Houston dropped off in the last game uh, and didn't win the AAC, which they were probably big favorites of to win the AAC. And they're playing George, number 14, Georgia State. I, I'm going to, and it's in Oklahoma, so it's kind of close to Houston. Not really. But I'm going to go with George, uh, Houston in this one. Yeah, I mean, I think this is pretty easy. Uh, Houston is, obviously, I think Houston's a, one of the best teams in the country. But for today, they only had one loss in the whole year at Temple. It was a tournament team. So, yeah, I'm going with Houston. We have number seven, Wofford, and number 10, Seton Hall. Who do you have? I'm going with Seton Hall in this one. I love Wofford. Okay, Wofford has got to be one of my favorite teams in the whole country. But Wofford has never faced a guy like Miles Powell, who outscored Georgetown, the whole team. He outscored the whole team in the first half on Thursday night. That's insane. This kid, Miles Powell, is one of the best players. He should have been the MVP of the Big East. But, you know, the whole thing is you got to give the Big East MVP to the winner, so they get yeah. the boost. But Phil Boots was not is not better than Miles Powell. He did not do nearly as good as Miles Powell in the Big East tournament. Miles Powell led this team to the Big East championship game, and Seton Hall will beat Wofford. I also have C- uh, Seton Hall in this one. The Terriers haven't lost the game since December nineteenth, uh, but yeah, it's gonna have you're gonna have a hard time stopping a guy who scored thirty one against Georgetown, twenty two against Marquette, twenty five against a very good Villanova team. Obviously, they lost. Miles um, Carroll has been very good. Uh, and so I'm just going to have Seton Hall in this one. I think they're going to outscore uh, Wofford in this game. Well, uh, Next, we have Kentucky and Abel Christian. I think Kentucky is going to win this game. I also think Kentucky is going to win this game. Uh, so that's going to that is going to uh, take up the round of 64. We're going to move on to the round of 16. In just, 32. Round of 32, my bad. In just a no, not, not just a minute. We're going to do it now. Uh, I thought I had to save it. So, we're going to start off in the East again. Duke, number one, versus number nine, UCF. I don't think it's another question. I think Duke is strongly going to outhandle UCF. Yeah, I think Duke should win this game pretty easily. Uh, you're going to see the 7'7 seven seven taco fall 
go up against the athletic monster of six foot eleven Zion Williamson. And even if he is six foot eleven, he has the athleticism and you know strength ability of a seven foot three, seven foot four guy. But uh, I think Duke should beat UCL. Yeah, got the do see that. Vitek number four, number five, Mich- Mississippi State. This is gonna be a tough one. I think uh, Vitek's gonna win this one. I think Vitek's also gonna win this one. This be an ACC Duke Vitek rematch. Uh, Vatek is a very good team. Mississippi State, another, this is a very even, you know, kind of game, you know what I mean? But, uh, I like Vatek in this one. Vatek is 6-5 and five versus the top 50. Mississippi State is 5-6. and six. Uh, but yeah, I like Vatek in this one. Yeah, uh, hold on. Something happened to my, to my bracket. I don't know where it is, where it went. Uh, hold on. Oh, come on. Hold on, I thought I saved it. Come off it. Oh, here it is. I'm stupid. No, that's not it. Okay, I apologize. I had a bracket and I don't know where it went. You want me to announce the bracket? Hmm? You said you want me to announce it? Hold on. I, I literally had a bracket up and now it just literally left. And now I'm very pissed off. My groups? No? Feature? I thought it saves. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna create a new one, and I'm just gonna quickly run it up. UCF, uh, do UCF, Mississippi State, Vitek, Maryland, LSU. Uh, I had Louisville, Michigan State, Gonzaga, Syracuse, Marquette, Florida State, St. John's, Texas Tech, Nevada, Michigan, Virginia, Ole Miss, Oregon, Kansas State, Villanova, Purdue, Cincinnati, Tennessee. Carolina, Washington, Auburn, Kansas, Iowa State, Houston, Seton Hall, and Ken- okay, we're good. Sorry about that. I have no idea what just happened. Okay, and I don't even know how to anyway. save this too. Okay, so here we go. Duke UCF. We had UC- uh, Duke winning this game. Vitek winning that game. Now we have number three LSU versus number six Maryland. I think LSU is going to win it. I like Maryland this one, man. Maryland is a very good team. I really like Maryland. They went twenty-two and ten this year. But they are, in my opinion, better than what their record says they are. Five and six versus the top 50. That's the most accurate. But I do like Maryland versus LSU. Michigan State in number seven. Louisville, unless you pick someone else against Louisville. I did pick Minnesota, but I'm still going with Michigan State. I am, too, going to go with Michigan State. Gonzaga, I have Syracuse. I think you have someone else. I know I have Syracuse. You have Syracuse winning? Okay. So, I, we, I personally, I think uh, Gonzaga is going to win this one. Oh, no, actually, I had Baylor. Yeah, but uh, no, yeah, I'm going with Gonzaga as well. Uh, then we have number five, Marquette, number number four, Miss uh, Florida State. Both looking great. I have Florida State winning this one. Um, yeah, I I picked Murray State, uh, but I'm still gonna go with Florida State in this game. I had Texas Tech versus St. John's. I had Texas Tech versus Buffalo, and I'm going with Buffalo to beat Texas Tech. I think Texas Tech is gonna win going to the Sweet 16. Then we have Nevada and Michigan. Uh, I'm going with Michigan. I'm also going with Michigan. They're arguably one of the more talented teams um, in the conference. And then we have Gardner Webb versus Ole Miss. No, yeah, no. You mean Virginia versus Ole Miss. Virgin- yeah, my bad. Virginia versus Ole Miss. I have Virginia obviously winning that game. I also have Virginia winning that game. I think in a pretty easy one. Uh, then we have Oregon versus Kansas State. I think Kansas State is talented enough to beat Oregon. I'm, I'm going to go with Oregon. I had them beating UC Irvine because I picked UC Irvine. So I'm going with Oregon over UC Irvine. Villanova versus Purdue. Both looking, for me, that's both looking sharp. I have Nova beating Purdue. Yep, I have Nova beating Old Dominion. Mm-hmm. And then we have number seven, Cincinnati versus number two, Tennessee. I think I'm going to have Cincinnati in this one. I'm also going to go with Cincinnati in this one as the game is going to be played in Columbus. Yes. Uh, even though Tennessee is very good, those Cincinnati fans are uh, pretty, pretty big. Yeah, big fans. Uh, number one, Washington. Uh, sorry, number one, North Carolina versus number nine, Washington. North North Carolina again. I think is gonna win. UNC got to be the hottest team in the country at the moment. I really like them. Uh, number five, Auburn versus number four, Kansas. I'm gonna go Auburn. I'm also gonna go with Auburn. Auburn's just been playing really hot lately. Kansas hasn't. Been, wasn't looking too good against versus a very good Iowa State team. Um, even if Auburn doesn't have the fan support that Iowa State does, mm-hmm. Kansas still didn't, you know, play very well. So I like Auburn. Uh, number six, Iowa State. Number three, Houston. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is where Iowa State's season ends. I say Houston's gonna move on. 
I'm also going to go with Houston. Houston is amazing this year, and I think Houston wins this game. Seton Hall was in Kentucky, and Seton Hall's been very well. I think Kentucky's good enough to win this game. Agree. Kentucky is good enough to win this game. Sweet 16 now, moving up to the top. Vodtech Duke. I think no one's going to contest Duke right now. I think Duke's going to win this game. Yep, I also think Duke's going to win this game. LSU, Michigan State. Again, Michigan State's been very, very well. I have Michigan State. I also have Michigan State. Uh, we have Gonzaga versus Florida State. I have Florida State winning this one. I personally have Gonzaga winning this Gonzaga. one. Uh, I have Texas Tech and Michigan. I think Michigan's going to win. I have Buffalo, Michigan. Michigan's going to win. Virginia, Kansas State. I think Virginia's going to win. I also think Virginia's going to win. Cincinnati and Villanova. Uh, ooh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Cincinnati. Yeah, I would too. I, I would, uh, I'm going to go with Nova. I think Nova's good enough to deter Cincinnati. Midwest, North Carolina, and Auburn. This is going to be a very fun game to watch. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have North Carolina, though, win this game. I'm also going to have North Carolina win this one. Houston, Kentucky. I have Houston. Houston. Uh, Elite Eight. Duke, Michigan State. Two very, Duke. very good teams play against each other, but I don't think Zion, I think Zion's going to be too hard to stop. I have Duke also winning this game. Florida State, Michigan. I have Florida, I have uh, Michigan winning this game. I think this is where Florida State uh, ends. I have also Michigan State. I have Michigan. Sorry, I have Michigan beating Gonzaga. Michigan beating Gonzaga. I have number one Virginia playing number six Villanova. I have Virginia winning this. Virginia, uh, come on! Virginia can never get to the Final Four. They never have. They never will. Cincinnati making it to the Final Four. I have North Carolina versus number three Houston. Both are very good teams. I have North Carolina winning this. UNC. Now, Duke, I think we have Duke, Michigan. Yeah, we both have Duke, Michigan. This is where it's going to get interesting in the Final Four. Uh, it'll be a very close game. I have Duke winning this one. Uh, I also have Duke winning this one. Virginia, for me, I have two number one seeds going at, it with, at each other, North Carolina and Virginia. Who do you have, Cincinnati and North Carolina? I have Cincinnati and North Carolina. And you know what? We're going to see part four, Duke, UNC. That's who I say. I say Duke, UNC. Uh, see if Duke could try to finish up the season with a tie. Um, who do you have? Your 2019 March Madness champion is the team from Tobacco Road, the University of North Carolina Tar Heels. That's, yeah, okay. So that's, that's a very, I think it's again, another game that could go either way at U.S. Bank Stadium. Both teams have played very well. I'm going to have Duke in this one. I think with a healthy – when North Carolina swept Duke both in Chapel Hill and in Duke, they didn't have a healthy Zion Williams. Uh, Zion Williamson. I think with Zion, it's going to help them. And we've already seen a taste of that um, in, the, in the ACC tournament. I'm going to go with Duke in this one. Not saying North Carolina is a bad team. I think they've been probably one of the best teams in the country, and they've been playing well with the tempo. But I have Duke winning this one. Uh, so 82 to 71. Okay. I have Duke. I have UNC winning 77 to 74. Duke has been very, what, uh, played very well. Uh, I don't want to share this. So that's what's going to, that's probably going to wrap it up for now. Um, I want to change my name to that one. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up. That's who our March Madness predictions are. If you have any disagreements with us, please do DM us. We would love to argue with you guys because you have nothing else to do. Um, ooh, we might. Do you have school tomorrow? I do. You do. Okay, so we'll be very. We may make a video tomorrow or on Tuesday because we got other sports news to cover uh, in this time. But that's gonna do it for right now, and we'll see you guys the next time. Okay, see you guys next time.